guys, what's up? Galaxy S3 Modder here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery on any of your Galaxy S3s. Okay, so the tool that we're going to be used to, using today... Really, Google? Really? I did not say okay, Google. Calm down. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so the tool that we're going to be using today is called ROM Manager. And to install ROM Manager on your device, it's actually really simple. Go to the App Store, search ROM Manager, and ROM Manager will be the first thing that pops up. You, you download it, and then you open it. Once you open ROM Manager, it's going to ask you if you have uh, root, and if you have root, then you'll be fine, then you can keep going. So, ROM Manager has a few cool features. It will let you direct reboot into recovery if your phone does not have uh, recovery installed already. It'll, or if it doesn't, if you don't know your combination, say like for Galaxy S3, it's the volume up button, the power button, and the home button. If you didn't know that, you can just hit reboot into recovery, and it'll automatically do that for you. And it has download ROM feature, which gives you access to some ROMs that it has. It doesn't have all the ROMs out there. But it does give you some cool stuff like Cyanogen Nightlies. And then it has a few old. That's old. Cyanogen Mod 10. So you might not want to use the download ROM feature. It's better just to go to the website. But it's cool to have it on there if you just want to try different things out. But what we're going to be using is the recovery option up here. So it's a recovery setup. It says current recovery. It shows mine is 6.0.4.3. And it says that there's a touch update available. Latest recovery is 6.0.4.5, so mine's older. You can see there. Here, let me make sure that you guys can see that. See? Mine is 0.3. Current recovery, 6.0.4.3, and the latest is 6.0.4.5. So today I'm going to be upgrading and showing you how to do that. So we're going to go into recovery setup, and it says to get started, you must first set custom recovery. So, recovery already installed, or installer update recovery. We're going to be going to re Quadric Mod Recovery up here. And it's going to confirm phone model. So it's going to ask you what type of phone you have for Galaxy S3s. It should pop up for every different variant. And if your variant is not shown, I would not recommend doing this. I would go online and download a um, download it yourself and flash it through Odin, which I have a video on that. You can go check that out, and I'll link that below. But for now, this is the simpler way. So it says Galaxy S3 T-Mobile, which I'm running. So I'm going to click that. It says, when flashing, a Wi-Fi connection is recommended. And we're just going to hit OK. And it says, flash, yes. Oh, wow. Clockwork Mod Recovery is available as a free download installation or Clockwork Mod website. So what we're going to do is we're just going to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery right here. Let me focus back in there. There you go. So it's downloading. It's not a very big file. Why did you do that? You got nice and there you go. See? Super user. And you're gonna I'm just gonna put rim of this choice forever. And then it's flashing the recovery. So we're just gonna wait. Successfully flashed clockwork mod recovery. Touch upgrade is available for your device, upgrade, purchase, you don't have to do that. So we're going to hit reboot into recovery to see if it worked. Up, up at the top, it said booting. Here, let me give you back up a little bit so you can see the top of the screen. And voila, there you go. At the top, it says Clockwork Mod Recovery 6.0.4.5. And there you go. That is all you need in order to flash Clockwork Mod recovery on your device and that took about five minutes to do so if you have any questions or comments leave them down below make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more Android videos similar to this one thanks guys I'll see you next time